I'm happy that we still have some people available and uh, just uh, just sources for news for you guys. So number one source that we're going to talk about right now, Larry Warford. He was released by the Saints. I believe they drafted Caesar Ruiz. I don't know how to say his last name. Ruiz? R-U-I-Z? Yeah, Caesar Ruiz. Yeah, Ruiz. Ruiz. Okay. Uh, Michigan, Michigan guard. And they ended up releasing Larry Warford, who has made the Pro Bowl three times in the past three years. Now, this looks like it would just immediately be a home run signing for the Bears if they were able to get him. Uh, early reports said that the Bears were pursuing him. Of course, guard is probably the most glaring weakness on this team. Um, and then other, and then other sources now are saying that he's out, but they're kind of less reliable. Do you think that the Bears should kind of like go all in on this signing and sign him to a contract? He's probably going to command a fairly hefty contract. I think it's all dependent on what the Bears organization actually sees the season as. You know, if the Bears, if the Bears organization, you know, Matt Nagy, the coaching the staff, and even upper management, if they see this year as a year that they're going to push for the playoffs, push for the Super Bowl, etc., then it's absolutely it's a must sign. Mm-hmm. Because if you're looking to make your team better right now, he's absolutely the best person that they could sign. Because like you said, that guard position is the most glaring weakness. And he is definitely the best player available on the market right now. Just came out of the market recently. And, you know, that's a quick way to really improve not only the passing game by giving, you know, what we think is going to be Nick Foles at the starting quarterback position, you know, more time to pass the ball. But I think having a really quality guard will also make a huge difference for Montgomery in that running game as well. Absolutely. And, you know, the offensive line was not where it needed to be this year. So I'm on the exact same side as you. Ryan Pace, go get Larry Warford. He would be such a great addition. Not to mention, we also have a quarterback who uh, isn't known to be the most healthy, either of them. So getting someone to really protect the quarterback. Um, Nick Foles, clearly not as mobile as Trubisky either. And if he's the starter, we're going to need someone to really uh, hold down that second guard position to prevent some of that interior rush that has been kind of notoriously uh, an issue for less mobile quarterbacks. I know Tom Brady, someone specifically, they say, they always say it uh, when you watch, when you watch the games, the way to beat Tom Brady is the interior rush. And that's kind of the same way with just any quarterback who, when you, who is not that mobile and you're trying to flush them out of the pocket to get them. Um, so I guess one other question that kind of comes up with this Larry Warford signing is should the bears like put all of their money into like, just Larry Warford, or should they try to think to the future more um, and like try to add a player kind of similar to Cam Newton? Because both of these players, the Bears have enough cap space to get. Yeah, I think it's, it's an interesting kind of like quandary that the Bears are in because, you know, even as kind of like the predictions that we've kind of start to see come out for the NFL season coming out, there's been, the Bears have been all over the place. I know oh, some like ESPN reporters had... Um, the Bears at twelve and four, and mm-hmm. then USA Today said three and thirteen. Three and thirteen. So I mean, you know, it's really all about the trajectory of this team. I think, honestly, I think the Bears are kind of gearing up for a bit of the run, a bit of a run. And I think Cam Newton, obviously, is a great player. I mean, you and I have talked about great things. You know, a former MVP, I'm probably one of the best athletes in the league. Still, you know, he can bring so much to the team. He could, you know teach you know Mitchell Trubisky who doesn't quite have the same playing style but you know someone Cam Newton is someone that excelled in the RPO Mm -hmm. but Mitchell Trubisky kind of fails to understand it at times we've talked about Mitchell Trubisky's lack of you know of that mental character um, and the ability to kind of read the game I I think right now though I think that you know Warfare would be more of the I think he'd be the better pick to be honest if, if I had to say you know we have to put one to put all the cap space into but to be honest if I'm I don't think Cam Newton would demand that much money, to be honest. Of course, yeah. he's still sitting at his couch at home. Um, we saw Dallas pick up Andy Dalton on a pretty cheap deal as a backup. I think that really the only thing that you'd really have to think about is, is this a team that needs three quarterbacks on the roster? Mm. Because if they bring in Cam Newton, they're not getting rid of Nick Foles. Obviously, Cam Newton's there to stay, and I doubt that they would get rid of Trubisky. So, I mean... Do you want to tie in three roster spots? There's a lot to think about there. Yeah, absolutely. And I think getting rid of Trubisky, um, let's say Cam, you bring in Cam Newton and he does play better than him and you're looking to cut a quarterback, that's just going to look so bad for Ryan Pace. I don't think that he would do that just 
kind of, I don't want to say it in a bad way, but kind of as an ego move, that means that uh, two of your former uh, first round picks Actually, three of your former first round picks, you are just flat out like cutting, which is, is not, is definitely not a good look. And, you know, I agree with you. Me and you have been consistently on the Bears saying, go ahead, make the move for Cam Newton. And I think that was more or less because we didn't really have another move that was like that flashy. And I think adding Larry Warford is just the perfect dream scenario for the Bears. Not only were they able to pick up, uh, Tashawn Gibson, on a really good contract because the Texans cut him, but now being able, now having the opportunity to pick up Larry Warford, I think that would just, that is just such a perfect pick and things are really moving in the right direction for the Bears. And especially because they weren't really able to address it at any other point. This was a very weak guard class in free agency and in the draft. So it just seems like it's a home run pick.